Hey, welcome to Resolving Post. My name is Gary, and in this video, we are going to replicate this trendy TikTok nose painting effect or nose pen effect on DaVinci Resolve Fusion. It's a pretty easy trick to do. All you need is uh, two additional nodes to replicate this very effect. And so for those of you who are relatively new to the Fusion page, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be able to follow along just fine. And once you have learned this technique, you're gonna be able to apply this not only for for drawing hearts with your nose, but on all sorts of effects that requires tracking, tracing, and painting. So stick around and let's just get right into it. So this is a clip that we'll be working with. And yes, this is me. I did record myself for the sake of this tutorial. Anyway, before we bring this clip over to our Fusion page, what we wanna do first is identify where in this clip do we want our nose painting effect to appear. And so for obvious reasons, we'd want our nose painting effect to appear right around here, just as I'm about to draw the, uh, the heart with my nose. And then now what we wanna do here is split our clip by pressing Command B or Control B if you're on a PC. And then um, on the clip that we'll be bringing over to Fusion, right click and then select new Fusion clip to turn this into a Fusion clip. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and head over to the Fusion page. Uh, and as usual, before I begin editing on the Fusion page, what I like to do is make sure that my nodes are snapping to grid. Right now they are not, so I'm going to right click on the node editor, go to arrange tools, and then select to grid. And now it becomes extra snappy. And let's resize this viewer real quick so that it's a little bit bigger. All right, so what we wanna do now is create a tracker node. Press shift space bar on your keyboard, tap in tracker, or TRA for short, press enter, and that'll create a tracker node. Let's rename this real quick to stay organized. Right click, rename, and I'll name this nose tracker. All right, now we're gonna connect our nose tracker into our pipeline. Hold down shift on your keyboard, uh, drag and drop with your mouse until the connector turns blue and yellow, release, and it should be connected. So with the nose tracker selected, what you see here on the viewer is a tracker overlay. And real quick, the tracker overlay has two boxes. The inner box is the pattern box, and we use this to identify the object that we want to track. And then the outer box is the search box. And this defines the area where DaVinci Resolve will look for the object that we're trying to track. And now what we wanna do is reposition this tracker so that it's on top of my nose because this is the object that we want to track. So to reposition our tracker, um, click and drag on the handle located on the upper left corner of the pattern box. And let's just drag this to our nose. <laughs> Sorry, that's not a very pretty sight to see. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and resize my pattern box because I have a fairly wide nose and also resize the search box. All right and we are ready to track. So while the nose tracker is still selected, head over to the inspector panel and then select this button over here to begin tracking forwards. Uh, and as it's tracking, just keep an eye out for any jumps or skips that may indicate a bad tracker. Um, and once that's done, <laughs> look at that smile. Anyway, once that's done, just go ahead and press okay to dismiss this message. And let's have a look. All right, so I think the tracking went pretty well. But if in case you didn't end up with very good results, just go ahead and try tracking again, but try using a different adaptive mode. Try using every frame and that should probably do the trick. But in our case, um, no adaptive mode still yielded pretty good results. So I'm just gonna stick with this one. And now, now that we have our path, what we wanna do is head over to the modifiers tab this is the path that we've just created. So let me just rename this as well. Nose path. Okay. And what we want to do with a nose path is we want to publish it. We want to publish the values so that we can apply these values on another node, uh, which we'll do shortly with the paint node. And so in order to publish these values, we can right click over here where it says right click here for shape animation and then select publish. So what you have now is nose path polyline, which is what we've just published. I'm just gonna rename this as well, and I'll name it nose 
path part. All right. Okay. So now that we have our path, we really don't need this nose tracker anymore. So let's just go ahead and set this aside by holding down shift while dragging and dropping it over here. Okay. And next, what we want to do is create our paint node. So first select media in, press shift space bar and type in paint. P A T. All right. To create our paint node. So now that we have our paint node, uh, what we want to do is select this one over here. It's polyline stroke. Uh, there are other strokes such as multi-stroke, clone multi-stroke, stroke, but the one we want is this one, polyline stroke, and I'll explain just a bit. Select this one, and then head over to your inspector, and then double-click on stroke controls to disclose more options. Scroll down until you see this option here. Right-click here for shape animation. So this option here is actually only available on the polyline stroke. It's not available on the other strokes, which is why for this effect to work, we want to make sure that we are using the polyline stroke. So let's go back to our inspector and right click over here. Select connect to. Select nose path heart and then select value. Now, once that's been clicked, you'll see right over here that now we have this heart path. All right, now let's just go ahead and play through this real quick and see how it looks. Now what we have to do is add on the right on effect so that the paint traces and draws at the position of our nose. So with your paint node still selected, go back to the inspectors panel and then under stroke controls, right click over here where it says right on. Select connect to, nose path, displacement. Okay, now if we play this again, and let me just click outside of my paint node real quick to remove the overlay. Okay. All right, great. Now all we have to do is just modify the brush size and the softness. So um, select paint node again, go back to the inspector panel, now this time double click on brush controls and then here let's go ahead and increase our size uh, around this big and then increase the softness all right now let's play this again see how it looks all right great <laughs> and that's pretty much it uh, very simple now you can modify the colors if you want and you can continue to modify the size and the, the softness. It's all up to you until, you know, just keep playing around with the looks until you get the, the desired look. But that's pretty much it. So there you have it. I hope you liked this video. Thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. And also if you have any questions, do drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond as soon as, as, soon as I can. But in the meantime, have fun fixing things in post, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.